Every day, millions of electronic devices like smartphones, tablets and computers are extensively used all around the world. And every day, millions of people are looking for electrical outlets, eager to recharge their battery. On the other hand, we all share the experience of large amounts of heat generated from our electronic appliances. Heat is wasted energy. We need a more efficient way of operating our computing and communicating devices. An ancient concept comes in useful. Energy is continuously available in the ambient. For example, solar power, thermal energy, and mechanical vibrations energy. Converting all this ambient energy into electrical energy is called energy harvesting. In fact, no different from what men have done for centuries with mills and water wheels, just on a very smaller scale. How much energy are we currently able to retrieve from ambient? Too little. Energy harvesting at present can barely power small sensors. There is still a gap between the energy needed for ICT devices to work and energy available from harvesting. ICT Energy brings together researchers working separately on those tasks with the aim of reducing this energy gap by increasing one level and reducing the other. In the near future, huge quantities of wireless microsensors and transmitters will be distributed on objects and places, the Internet of Things. All these micro-workers need energy but they are too small to be powered in a traditional way. And there's more. The high-performance computing strategy aims at producing the next generation of supercomputers. But those exascale computers are consuming a huge amount of energy. The solution is to reduce the energy wasted into heat. Less heat means more computing power. The ICT Energy Project aims to give a courageous answer to this challenge, enabling a new era for information and communication.